Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Winter from the Lunar Chronicle series. It's the finale book in the series, which is set in a futuristic kind of fairy tale world where cyborgs and androids and all sorts of other kind of spaceships and massive new technology is quite common. This one is Snow White, the first one was Cinderella, second was the second was Little Red Riding Hood, third one was Rapunzel, and this one is Snow White, as you can see by the giant apple on the front. Um, I really, really love this book. I think this book was my favourite out of all of them, um, probably just because of the way it kind of winds up the whole story and brings it all together into this massive ending to the whole thing that's been going on throughout the course of this book with all their revolutions that they've been trying to create throughout the course of their individual stories. You've got Cinder, who is Princess Selene, who is the evil queen Lavana's uh, niece. And then you've got Scarlet, who is the granddaughter of the woman that's been protecting Cinder her whole, whole life. Crest, who's been living in a satellite her whole life and has made her way out and become in part of this little group with all of their friends. Um, the Emperor Kaito, who, well Kai, who Cinder has completely fallen in love with. Um, I really liked how each of these books had their own little kind of romances, like they're supposed to do in fairy tales, and they represent them all, so they've all got couples, <laughs> which I thought was really cool. Um, Winter is the princess, she's the stepdaughter of the evil queen. And she's fallen in love with a guard, Jason, um, who I'm also coming to learn more about through the book Fairest, which is really interesting. <laughs> I've talked about that, I think, in every review I've done of these books, but it does kind of give a different perspective on them. Um, I think that with this one, I really liked how the story came out. I liked the different perspectives. There was a lot more from Lavana herself. We saw more of Luna, um, we did in Cress as well, but this one was more focused on the palace of course, and because that's where Winters lives. We saw Winters friends, um, her, the animals that she loves, sorry, I should have said. Um, we see Winters kind of growing friendship with Jason, he wants to be her guard, but she's in love with him and he's also in love with her but he doesn't want to create danger for her because if the queen finds out of course then they could end up in some deep deep trouble so I really really like the way that story kind of evolves and their relationship grows throughout the course of the book and Winter comes to meet Scarlet because Scarlet is taken away and held kind of hostage in this in the animal centre where she, where Winter often goes to visit Ryu the wolf um, and then they eventually meet Cinder and Scarlet and Cress and Thorn, Aiko, Jason becomes a part of it and then later on they're forced to draw Winter from her sickness that Earth Queen has caused on her through some apple petites which is the kind of way she's represented the apple itself. Um, which I thought was really really clever as well. There's lots of little tiny kind of um, tropes of, of the stories like in Cinder you've got her, her cyborg foot instead of her an actual shoe like um, the hoodie and Scarlet and things like that. Rapunzel getting her hair cut or Cress getting her hair cut <laughs> in the first book. But yeah, as again, each of the stories that have come through in the first books kind of evolves through this one and you've still got all the different separate perspectives. But I think the one thing I was the most disappointed with about this book is that because there was so much of a focus on trying to get this story to kind of finish and come out, um, you didn't see much of Winter or as much of Winter as I would have liked to see. Um, I think she spent a lot of time writing about Cinder and Kai and 
because there's so many different perspectives it's quite hard to think about but to consider writing I suppose but but I think she could have involved Winter a lot more and made Winter Winter's story come through a lot more like I think it came out a lot at the end but throughout the whole entire part the middle part of the book it was all focused on Cinder basically and Scarlet and Kai and the others um, I think Winter could have been shown as a bit more of a, a heroine in herself like all of the others have she seems quite soft as softer she ends up using her mind control at the end um, I'm not gonna say too much and that destroys her but she's been trying to hold back from it this whole time um, her whole life but she does use it in the end and it causes some problems for her but yeah I'm trying not to give too many spoilers I'm sorry but um, yeah you'll have to read it to see how it unravels and how each of the series the whole books in the series unravel the story goes closer to um, but yeah, it's definitely worth the read. This whole series, I think, is worth the read. I'm reading Ferris now, so I'm seeing a lot more of the different perspectives of different characters and why or what triggered everything that Levana did to everybody else. Um, there's so much to it, so I definitely consider reading it. And it's quite hard to talk about in individual things, but um, yeah, I will talk more about Ferris when I, um, when I finish reading that. But yeah, for now, that's it guys. Bye.